it's your girl miss process so today guys i am going to be showing you the outcome of the um the zucchini flower that i did i hand pollinated um gonna be showing you what happened to it and um yeah so but first before i do that i'm going to show you the two that i did off camera that i showed you um before i did the hand pollination um so guys i'm gonna show you the first one that i did so this is the very first one that i did uh it could be a lot bigger than this but guys the there are four plants in one pot and yeah so because of the space i did you know i did put the four of them in one pot um, and yeah but next year i hope to do it differently if god spare my life and do our last uh, but anyway guys that is the first one that i i did off camera and the second one that i did guys it did not make it it didn't grow any bigger sorry guys about the sniffling of my nose but the um my sinus is is acting up um so i did take some medicine guys but um, anyways so it's there that's it there it's not growing any bigger um i think because the there are so there are four plants in one pot they you know they're taking the energy from each other of course we know that plants um everything needs energy to grow and you know become the best they can become get all their nutrients and so on and so forth to grow but anyway guys like i said next year i will be doing it a little bit different getting a bigger container for them so they could have more chances of you know growing bigger and better and yeah so guys i am going to show you the one that i did on on camera for you guys to see if it failed if it didn't fail so yeah guys so this this is the one that i did on camera that's that's it there so it's actually the, the biggest one on here and yeah guys so it does have a little spot on it some spots on it um which i'm not worried about as i had like slugs and snails or tiny snails um on there on the plants i've even had some of the zucchini flowers been eaten so if they do eat that the eat the inside of the flower it won't be it won't get the chance to grow to become a full grown zucchini because that has been taken away from it um, by the snails or slugs so what I did though for that I have got some slug pellets somewhere but I can't find it so I decided to make um, use a substitute <laughs> which was um, some eggshells that i had i collect the eggshells and i place them into the soil but i just just decided to place it around the actual plant pot it's not it's not here at the moment because i i took the plant pot up from where it was placed it into the sun so it could get a little sun but anyway guys i will show you that so guys this is another zucchini that i did as well as you can see so the hand pollination has worked guys there it is um so that's one and this is another one here that i did also um so unfortunately some of them um the little because that, that's one there so that that's a little one there and that's another one there that's two more actually some of them 
did not get the chance to be pollinated because the male flower wasn't um, wasn't um, around for the for me to hand pollinate hand pollinate them so they didn't get the chance to be hand pollinated which um, I I was upset about but anyways this one opened this morning and I did I unpollinated this um, luckily there was a, a male flower and I did that one so I just have to wait and see what happens with that so yeah guys so in all I've got like four four big ones on there and some little tiny ones um, some are pollinated and some are <laughs> I, I showed you the two that wasn't which is that one and that one with the flowers still on it attached to it and that little one the one over that side um, without the flower that's been hand pollinated as well so I'll have to wait and see what happens with that so yeah guys the hand pollination did work it worked um, so yeah guys but yesterday I just wanted to quickly tell you I just wanted to tell you about, um, a little bit about yesterday guys I went to a park with the kids and their grandma and guys I the part that I went they had a section where they had flowers and vegetables and stuff in there um, and so when I went in because I went before but they weren't it was open so yesterday it was and I went we went in we didn't know you know they actually grow everything in there um, it's also a charity guys I will show you hopefully next time when I go um, I will you know like if they're open I will hopefully show you guys but guys I saw a zucchini plant in there and guys I was so like surprised how big the zucchini was the leaves look at my leaves they have some small ones and some big ones but the leaves for the, I've, I've never seen the like the leaves are really huge guys I never knew that they could grow that big at the start the the um, stems guys huge I'm it's just they were just huge it, it, it didn't have any vegetables on there it didn't have any zucchinis on on there but the plant was huge it was short but they were it had really huge leaves big um, stems on there guys I just could not believe <laughs> <laughs> but anyway it's different anyways because they've got proper fa facilities to grow them they've got like like proper heating system inside of the greenhouses and the, the greenhouses are huge and watering system as well it was really hot inside so we couldn't even like didn't want to stay inside of them you know it quickly came out <laughs> but you know mine was outside and uh, is outside and i guess it's a different different they are growing differently you know they're getting natural sunlight natural breeze natural you know that it's not like that where they've actually got theirs indoors inside the, the greenhouse the greenhouse and it's they've got eating system and everything guys but anyways um yeah so guys but well, i'm happy with mine and i will be hoping next year to hopefully next year if the world lasts uh, i live on the world last guys i want to do it differently for my pumpkins and my zucchinis i will be putting them in bigger containers which i have in mind i've got a container already for one um a wooden box I uh, got it from a neighbor and I can get another one because uh, I know somebody else that I could ask for another one and I will be you know anyways I will be DIYing the, them and doing you know doing a lot better with the zucchinis 
and the pump kids getting them more space apart from each other for them to grow the eggshells that I placed around the um, the bottom of my plant pot so if the slugs or snails decide to crawl to get to the plant pot they will be <laughs> they will have trouble doing so so guys they will be getting some scrapes <laughs> Uh, anyway guys um, I like I said it was in the middle of um, here so I did put it in the Sun just because the Sun's out today um, anyway guys but anyway guys thank you so much for watching my videos thanks for the support guys I really really do appreciate it and I really feel like I'm a part of a family guys um, but guys please help me more by clicking like on my videos and giving me some you know watch my videos a little bit longer and stuff like that um because it will it really will help me how to get further on in my in the youtube youtube will recognize me a lot more um yeah i've seen a lot of comments and they're really encouraging and i would like to thank you all for the encouragement and the nice comments that you have been giving me but I have got actually got more comments than likes which I prob I would just I'm asking you please guys just to help me out a bit more with the likes please 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 okay so as it does help me out guys so on that note guys thank you so much for watching my videos thank you for your support each and every one of you old new and recent guys thank you so much love you guys bye